Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how you can record and export with ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is a $100 program from Telestream, but I believe you can get it from the App Store, and it's used for recording screen, uh, your screen, your desktop, or recording games, stuff like that. So, um, let's start by opening ScreenFlow. It's right here. The current version is 4.0.1 for me. Uh, that might change for you though. Okay, so as you can see when it opens, you'll get this popping up. Um, you've got a number of options. First of all, by default, it always records your screen, so you're good with that. Other than that, you can choose whether it records your audio or not. You can choose whether it records your computer audio, like Skype conversations. And if you want a face cam, you can choose that as well by recording a video from built inside. But I don't want to do that, so I'll just leave that blank. Okay, to start recording, just click the red record button. As you can see, it's got a 3 second countdown. Uh, I think it's 5 second for you guys, but I changed mine to 3. Okay, so right now it's recording. You've got a quick little recording session here. You can let it go as long as you want. When you want to finish recording, just go click that button. And as you can see, it's got a circle to show it's recording. And you just press stop recording. Of course, you can learn the shortcuts like stop recording and start recording as command whatever. So I'm going to click stop recording. And it should open a document. There we go. So as you can see, we've got this. You guys, but I changed mine to 3. Okay, so right now it's recording. You've got a quick little recording. So yeah, as you can see, you've got, ah, that's weird hearing myself talk, but you've got all this happening here. Um, what you can do to make it nice and professional, for instance, add a starting and an ending transition, like this, and I recommend using uh, Cross Dissolve, and this is just for a nice, simple sort of introduction, so you can sort of see it, uh, it doesn't look as bad and as jumpy as if you just have no transition. You guys, but I changed mine to three. Okay, so right now it's recording, you can click whatever. So I'm going to click stop. There, as you can see, looks much better. Um, also, if you have an introduction. Whoops! If you have an introduction, for instance, I have this one. You can drag that in, and if, especially if you have a YouTube channel, you can just drag that, put it at the start, and yeah, you're good. Also, one last thing you can do is say you your audio started too early. For instance, I was right in the middle of talking when my recording started. What you can do is go here, click the audio button here, and add an audio action. Now, basically, over here. You just put the little thingy magic here and turn the volume, make sure this is selected and turn the volume to zero. And then basically, as the duration of this green thing happens, um, it'll go from zero to 100%, so it won't be as jumpy. Like that. And looks great. So now what you can do is export it. Go to File. If you're publishing to YouTube or Flash, I don't know what, um, easily you can just go publish to YouTube. Otherwise, here are the export settings. You click Export. Um, you go web customized um, and you customize this settings. Uh, restrict the data rate to 5,000 kilobytes per second. Kilobits? I don't know. Anyway, best quality and um, best quality compressor, multipass, whatever that is. As you can see, it won't let you change this anymore. But um, if you got that, then that's good. Keep this as current and keep this as automatic. Oh, oops! Don't get frame reordering and uh, get this to H.264, which is .mov. Then click OK. Um, sound, change this to better, change this to 128, and if you want, change to this, but I like to keep it as AAC. And just click OK. Don't worry about this for internet streaming, that's all good. Uh, choose your screen size, I can recommend 1280 by 720. And yeah, you're good, so just press export and the screen will darken, it'll tell you how long it'll take to export. In this case, 9 minutes. So yeah guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. Remember to hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Okay, see ya. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you want more tutorials, then click on the Kiwi folder. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it the thumbs up. Goodbye.